Now at the St. Louis School Board will make a key decision for the future of the district. Leaders will decide whether or not to sponsor Confluence Academies, a network of charter schools. Five on your side, Travis Cummings joins us live from SLPS headquarters where that meeting is set to happen. And Travis, what can you tell us about this potential partnership? Yeah, and this partnership would be huge for the city's education goals. You know, St. Louis Public Schools and charters are already competing, going toe to toe to get students and staff and to keep them, not to mention the steady enrollment decline in the public school system. I think one of the things they realize is that our students are going to they're going to change back and forth from charters to public potentially. Ed Plus's CEO Paul Ziegler has been in education in St. Louis for 30 years, so he's seen the highs and lows of the public and charter sectors. You know, if you would have asked me a couple years ago whether I could see our traditional public school, St. Louis, you know, public schools adopting a charter, I would have said probably no. At this week's school board meeting, the St. Louis School Board will vote on sponsoring Confluence Academies, charter schools. This proposal comes as both school systems fight to reel in and keep students. In the St. Louis Public School District, enrollment decreased 14% from 2016 to 2021, according to the Business Journal. Imagine schools, another charter system closed in 2012, removing about 4,000 students from their schools. Over the last, let's say, four or five years, you start to see the two groups try to work together. SLPS and Confluence Academies came together this spring on a public safety plan against child gun violence. Ziegler says this would maximize resources. If I have to duplicate transportation or duplicate administrative services, things like that, that money's got to come from somewhere. And when the resources remain the same, what ends up happening then is we're diluting other pieces that are good for kids. He says the leadership in both systems will be key to making this work. I think if that drives ultimately the decisions that are made, ultimately they're going to have a better opportunity for all kids in, in, the, in the St. Louis City area. The school board is set to meet at 6.30 tonight. Superintendent Dr. Calvin Adams, who will have his last meeting this evening, is expected to make a recommendation on this plan. Live downtown, Travis Cummings 5 on your side.